pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful Frederick, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Behind me, we got a fully loaded, uh, it is a Chrysler uh, 300C, it's a 2012. We're going to go over some of the features on there and of course show you some of the key things about this vehicle. It is a two-wheel drive, if you guys were wondering, it's not all-wheel, it is a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, by um, a matter of fact. So if you guys are interested, feel free, reach out, and of course, we will give you all the information that you need. So come on, guys, let's take a look at this 2012 Chrysler 300C, just under three, uh, 63,000 miles. Straight off the bat, you might see it looks black on the video, but it's like a dark brown. And of course, depending on the angle you are with the sun, you will see the brown color pop out. I'm going to take a look at the rims here with those low profile tires. What you guys are looking at is 245, 45 R20s. Before we go off with the engine, we're just going to come around this way. You do have keyless entry. On the passenger door and driver door, we got this button up here. Press that button, we'll lock the vehicle. Hands inside the handle, we'll unlock the vehicle. It does come with remote start, so on a day like today, a little cool outside, they could actually warm up the vehicle. It does have a setting in there that will actually adjust to the temperature outside. So if it's cold outside, when you remote start the vehicle, everything inside will be warm or hot opposite if you are in a, a hot day, it's a hot day your remote started the AC will come on it does come with heated and cool seats so those seats will cool off as well or heat up steering wheel has a heated steering wheel so that will actually heat up as well or cool well again it doesn't have cool only heated steering wheel so forget I said that <laughs> okay gas tank is located right here on the driver's side in the door there is a switch to unlock your fuel tank. And this is a 19 gallon tank. Of course, we do have Goodyear tires on this. Across the back end of the uh, back windshield, you see this black piece right here. This is the rest shade that will actually retract or extend. So right now this vehicle is not tinted. So if you do need that shade, you have an electronical shade here. This one does come with a rear camera, Chrysler badge, and of course, the 300C. This is a trunk release. Check out the room inside here, tons of room. Underneath, here we have the battery access point and of course your spare tire so if you decide to jump you got to back up to somebody and jump them or they jump you but the battery is located in the back end of this Chrysler dual pipes and I don't know as we come in around you guys could actually see that brown pop up right now and you could see the crystals in the paint which gives it that real good shine. It's a 2012 and it's used. So there's like minor little scratches there and there, but nothing that stands out, you know, like a pretty bit up used vehicle. This is, this vehicle was well taken care of. It does have the panoramic sunroof. So it pretty much takes up a lot of the, the roof of this vehicle and as we come up front we got LED headlamps we got fog lamps and of course the Chrysler grill and then underneath the hood you guys are looking at a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine and it's also partnered with a five-speed 
shiftable automatic transmission. You're looking at 363 horsepower and about 394 foot-pounds of torque. And again, if you don't want to go access through the, uh, the trunk of the vehicle to jump, you do have a jumper box right here to be able to, to jump somebody. So you have the positive and the negative part right here. Well maintained when we got this one in. We did bring it to our local Chrysler Dodge dealer. Put in some work into this. Change some oils out. We did do a fuel uh, transmission flush. So this vehicle drives like a baby. So we do have a list of everything we did to it before we put it on the lot. So if you guys want a copy of that, we could provide that as well. We do have a tan interior in this one. I just wanted to point out some things here. If you check the center, this one does come with heated back seats. There is also a switch in the middle that allows you to open and close the shade. So as we're in the back here, let's, let me show you what that is. So that center button right here, if I press that button, so the passenger could do it, the shade opens up. And if you're done with it, you press it one more time and it actually goes back automatically. You also have a 12 volt hook up here. Center seat does come down, gives you cup holders and a little storage compartment here. Becomes a handrest cup holder. If you have a third person in the back seat, you bring that up. And of course, you got space for three people. Heated seats, you got two settings, a high and low. And these are for the back seats. As you see, it's all vented. Not all seats that are vented are heated or cool. But again, you will notice by the, the switches in the back here for your passengers to switch. And of course, the driver has his own. So let's take a look inside. And as we look up, I'm just going to show you that panoramic sunroof. It does have a shade that will come all the way here. And the shade controls is up here. If you press it once, it will automatically go halfway. Oh, OK. This one goes all the way through. The newer ones, they go in sections. So it will split in, in the middle. And once you retract it, it will, it will come halfway. And then you'll have to press it again to come all the way here. But then for this one, if it's all the way open, one will give it the full thing. And then when you're opening it, it will do that halfway point, like I was saying. Like the newer, the newer vehicles will do that both ways coming in and out. Now that we open that sunroof, just a press of a button. You don't have to hold it down. Just press it once and it will do its thing. To close it as well, the same. And of course, it does have the vent option as well. OK, now just close the vent because the sun is about to come out. Well, it is out, but it's going to shine over this in a little bit. All your light options, if you want reading lights, you can turn those on or off. You do have a glass holder. And this one seems a little wider than the regular ones, but this comes in very handy. Put your sunglasses in here. You do have mirrors with a light here for people that want to put makeup on or just want to see themselves in the mirror. This one does come retractable with an additional shade. As we come down, 
We do have a large touch screen. This one does come with all settings here for AM, FM, and satellite radio. And of course, for 2012, I think this, a lot of the technology it has right now, I'm amazed like from all the way back then to now, you know, it's pretty much the same, but just with, you know, different updates, you know, different look. But with the Bluetooth technology, you could actually plug in your phone through this as well via USB or auxiliary. Your controls here, you could control your heated and cool seats and your steering wheel. Your rear shade, like the button we showed you earlier, this is the driver's switch to turn that um, rear shade, open it and close it. And for the passenger as well, your heated and vented seats. You could actually turn the screen off if it's too much for you while driving at night and just touching it will turn it back on. You could do all your options here for heat and AC by a touch screen or you could of course do it manually down here. This one does come with navigation. I've used it a couple times while driving this vehicle for test drive purposes and it does work pretty well. It will give you the fastest route like your phone would. It will tell you when there's traffic on the road. If you if you want to find a quicker route, it will actually give you that option. And of course, you can set up your phone via Bluetooth right now. My phone is hooked up on here for video purposes. Of course, you will not have my phone hooked up to that vehicle when you purchase. I will, I will delete it <laughs> make sure it's not in your way just in case you come to the store and my phone automatically hook up to your vehicle just for fun. I'm just playing, guys. Um, and of course, you have uh, your travel link. Once you have, you know, Sirius XM radio, it gives you those options here. Your settings, all, all the different stuff, changing your clock, your display, safety assistant, your lights, your, your door locks and all that. If you wanna just have it sound when, when you click the button, it will actually just give you flashing lights when you lock or it will sound the horn. There's different options here when it comes to those things. So you can just toggle through all the settings and whatever settings uh, that you're looking for, it will come up with that. It is a push to start. So you have the option here, foot on the brake, one push, it will automatically start. Steering wheel, like all the Dodge Ram family, Chrysler. On the right hand side, you have your volume controls. On the left hand side, you got your station or switch to change uh, your music or change the station. On the left hand side behind the uh, steering wheel, you have the option to open the trunk. If you're inside and you have a family come in to put stuff in the trunk, you could automatically push that button, trunk will release. All your light options on right next to there. Driver's seat does come with memory seats. You have a control one and two. The S is to set. So set and hold on on one. Set or hold down on two will actually set um, your position you put on the seat. On the door, power windows, power locks, powered mirrors. The two front windows are automatic, so by pressing it once down, it will go all the way down. Same for the passenger up front. And the, the good thing I like about it too, you're driving, it starts to rain, you could just click on the two front windows and it will automatically go by itself. The two back windows, you have to hold it up until it goes all the way up or hold it down until it goes all the way down. This one does come with the Alpine sound system. Great quality sound in here. Digital clock, you don't get that, no, analog, sorry. You don't get that much in vehicles uh, nowadays, but it typically, you know, continue with the Mercedes, which Mercedes love the analog clock, but having this is actually really nice. Even with my smartwatch, I still do analog, <laughs> which is, I mean, I like the option with that one. So you guys are looking at a vehicle with only 62,980 miles, so just under 63,000 miles, clean Carfax, well-maintained, again, when we got it in as a used vehicle trade-in. 
We brought it into our local Dodge dealership. Got a real good service on it. it. Was just not a regular service. We did, we did a little bit to it. You know, changing the transmission fluid, changing the oils, uh, making sure the brake pads and rotors were good, and of course, tires condition, brake condition, and just the interior AC. Everything works right now. I have the heat on and. We have our jackets and we a little bit sweaty right now, but um, once we get outside, we'll be cool again. But just to show you that it works pretty well. Nice storage box here with the cup holders up front. You do have an option for cool and heated cup holders. So if you do have your coffee in the morning from Starbucks or Ziggy's, wherever you decide to buy your coffee, gas station, you can put it in here, turn on the heat. It will actually keep your, your drink warm. Same if you have a cold drink, a soft drink, soda, whatever the, the case may be. Turn on the coal, it will keep your drink cool as well. So that's a nice little option. I wish I could do that with all vehicles. Um, it's, just, it's just a really great feature to have. And of course, inside here, we got a nice little storage box. USB, auxiliary, and of course, another 12 volt plug-in. Nice little storage. And of course, it is available as of today still. So if you guys are interested in this unit, please give me a call today, guys. It is a two-wheel drive 2012 Chrysler 300C, fully loaded. Kind of showed you guys majority of the features. We could go into detail if you, if, if you give me a call, if you want to find out exactly, you know, a certain thing about a vehicle, I'll definitely answer those questions for you. Marlon Bledman is the name one more time at 303-684. 3412. So you guys could also call or text me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com for any more information. You could also visit our website at transwest.com. Go to our automotive group. You select Transwest in Frederick and we'll show you all the inventory we have here. Or you guys could also go on autotrader.com. Go to our Transwest in Frederick link in the auto trader and you'll see all our used vehicles there as well we do have haulers but it's on our transwest.com or horse trailer world and those other websites but for our used vehicles you can check our automotive group in our transwest.com or auto trader for those pictures prices and all that information in the meantime thank you guys for tuning in it's great to be back at work i'll be with you guys tomorrow for another video in the meantime stay safe out there stay warm I know it's starting to get more chilly and more snow coming in. Hopefully we have a white Christmas, but again, thank you guys for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you.